Hey guys, and welcome back for another organization video. This week we are talking all things Target, sharing the best of the best organization products, some ideas for you guys on how to use different things to save and maximize space in your home. Target is one of my favorite places for all things, but their organization section is just great. They have so many different items, bins of all shapes and sizes and for all budgets, made with so many different materials just to suit whatever it is that you're looking to organize. But aside from all their bins, which I'm sure you guys know how to use, they've got some great organization products like shelf risers, lazy Susans, different shelving systems, and things like that. So we're going to be talking about all the things that I found strolling the organization aisles of Target. Everything will be linked down below, assuming it is available online, so be sure to check there. But if you're looking to organize a space in your small home and you need some ideas, you have come to the right place. I post new organization videos here on my channel every single week, so be sure to subscribe if you're new and let's just get into it. Here we have our very first organization product of this video. So this is the Ucopia two-tier turntable. I'm a big fan of the Ucopia brand. I've been using things from Ucopia for years and I was actually purchasing them on Amazon. And this day when I went to Target is the first time I'd ever noticed that they were available in Target in store. This turntable is really easy to put together. It doesn't require any tools. It takes like 20 seconds. And the cool thing about this one is that it's adjustable so you can adjust it up and down to suit whatever height it is that you need it to be at. You could of course store whatever you want on this, but I think this would be perfect in a pantry. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm showing you just putting some baking supplies on there. You guys know that I just love a good turntable. And again, this is a brand that I know and love and I was so excited to see them in Target and I'm very happy to support them. So again, anything that I'm using in this video is going to be linked in the description box below if you're looking for it, but this is a very good product available at Target. This was probably one of my favorite things that I found at Target on this day, and this was in the Bullseye's Playground section or the Dollar Spot as some people call it, but the products are actually between I think one and five dollars in that section, so it's not really a dollar spot, but this is technically a dessert stand. It was five dollars. It's all black. It's made of wood. I just think this is so, so good. I decided to use it next to my stove to put things that I'm always leaving out on my counter just to kind of rise them up a little bit, make it look a little less cluttered. I just think it adds a little bit of a decorative touch. So you could use this, of course, for anything, but again, for demonstration purposes, I'm showing you what I used it for. I'm putting my Echo Dot on there, some candles that I always have out, my salt, pepper, and olive oil. And a lot of the times when I make these organization videos, I will take down the things that I'm doing because I'm constantly reorganizing, showing you guys new ideas. But this is something that I left up and that's how you know that I love it. Probably one of my top most requested links on my channel is for this door organizer. And this one in particular is from the container store. And this one is like $140 or something like that. I'm I might be wrong, but I think it's around that price. But I recently found this one on the Target website. It's not the exact same brand, but it is the exact same dimensions and the same idea, and it's only $60. So I wanted to tell you guys about it. I'm just showing you some clips from past videos of how I use this organizer. We have one in our linen closet. We have one in my son's bedroom closet. And utilizing the inside of doors is so helpful when you live in a small home and you just don't have a lot of space to work with. So again, because this is such a great deal, I wanted to share this with you guys and just encourage you to check out that link down below, get this before it's gone because I saw that it was not available in stores any longer, so I don't know if they're phasing it out, but this is such a great organizer and you can get it for less than half the price of what you would pay at Container Store.
This next organization item is this mini two-tier organizer. I actually have one of these from this exact same brand and it's a bigger version of it. So when I saw the mini one, I thought this was a great idea because again, this video is aimed towards those who live in a small home or are working with a small space. This one is much, much more narrow than the other one that I have. So if you're trying to organize under your kitchen sink or under your bathroom vanity and you just don't have a lot of space, this might actually work for you. This is another product that is so easy to put together and it doesn't require any tools. And you guys know that I love to use anything that will utilize vertical space because if you're working with a small space, you have to find a way to use every single square inch of the real estate that's available to you. So if you're organizing again under a bathroom vanity or under your kitchen sink, vertical space is crucial. I wanted to show you guys also what my other organizer looks like that is similar to this one so you can see the size options that you have available to you. So this is the bigger one. I use this under my bathroom vanity. In this particular video, I was decluttering and organizing under my bathroom vanity. But I really like these two tier organizers in particular because they slide out so it's easy to grab what you need from the back without having to dig around. But also they come with dividers and something about dividers just makes me feel more organized in general. I wanted to demonstrate for you guys so you can see how this product looks in a space and how I would use it. So I'm putting this under my kitchen sink. In the bottom section, I will put some sponges. I'll also put a scrubbing brush. And then the top section is better for your cleaning products because you're not restricted at the height, having another tier above it. So I'll put my cleaning sprays on top. But again, I really like using vertical space, so I definitely wanted to share this with you guys because this one is narrow and I have not seen anything quite as narrow as this one. This is like the perfect size if you have a very, very small space to work with under your kitchen sink or your bathroom vanity. This next item we have here also came from Bullseye's Playground and it's a shelf and it's got some hooks. My idea for this was to put this on the back wall of your kitchen so you could hang things from it and use that shelf, but I was not able to properly demonstrate this because I actually ran out of command strips. So it was literally hanging on by a thread, but if you have plenty of command strips, I would probably put three on the back here to support this, then this would be a great way to use the wall space in your kitchen. But if you don't wanna use it for this, this would also be perfect in your entryway to store keys and things that you need when you're running out the door. You guys know that I love using drawer dividers and I found these adjustable drawer dividers at Target. Unfortunately, these did not work out for me. These didn't fit in either my kitchen drawers or my bedroom drawers. So I wanted to just warn you guys in case you're looking for something like this, that this probably isn't the one you might want to check your dimensions. There's definitely better options out there. So unfortunately this one does not fit in my dresser drawers. So I'm unable to use it. It is an adjustable drawer divider, but this is as small as it gets. And I actually do have quite deep dresser drawers. So definitely check the dimensions before you go ahead and buy something like this. If you're planning to use it in either your kitchen cabinets or in your dressers, this doesn't fit in my kitchen cabinets either. It's too tall. So buyer beware. These drawer dividers though from the Brightroom line are so cool. I really liked these. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different ways that you can use these. I don't know what I was expecting when I opened this package, but what I saw was definitely not it. And I don't know, I really don't know what I was expecting here, but you have to kind of put this together. It's a little bit like a puzzle, but once I figured out the pattern, it wasn't so bad. They just kind of snap in place. It's just a plastic material, but what I really like about this is that it's so versatile and you could put as many of these pieces together as you want to fit into the space that you need. My first thought for this was to actually organize the inside of your bedroom drawer. So if you've got like a sock and underwear drawer that's out of control, this could be really good for that. So I'm going to show you just me putting some socks in it because we're close, but we're not quite that close. So I think socks is as far as I'm willing to go here on the internet, but you could put your socks in each of these different sections, or again, you could put your underwear if that's what you want to do or whatever it is that you're storing in that drawer in your bedroom. But this is an idea. I only put a couple of the pieces in here just 
again for demonstration, but I thought an even better idea for this was to use this for your utility or junk drawer, whatever you want to call it. These little sections are perfect for organizing different things that you would store in that drawer. So for example, I'm putting some Bluetooth headphones in here, a bunch of our assorted charging ports, got some clothespins, some crazy glue, some batteries, and these sections are just perfect for it. So I wanted to include this idea if you guys needed an organizer for that particular space in your home. This one is pretty obvious, but I decided to include it anyway because I needed one of these and I picked one up on this day and this is just a sponge holder that suctions onto the inside of your sink. If you have a small space, it's good to get one less thing off of your countertops and I feel like this might be a little bit less germy than leaving the sponge directly on top of the countertop. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I felt like this was a good idea and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Again, with the turntables, I like this one from Brightroom because it has a couple of different sections in it. It's a nice, sturdy, solid plastic. It's not flimsy at all. And I'm using this to organize inside of our pantry. My son's snack section was looking a little bit out of control, so I decided to use this bin for that, again, because it has the different sections in it. So I could put his Rice Krispie treats in one section, his bars in one section. We had some little chocolate banana granola bites, and he can spin it around and see what's available to him, and it just makes it look a little bit more organized, and it's easy for my five-year-old to find what he's looking for. This right here is an angled drawer tray. This is another thing that I'm a big fan of and this was a really good price at Target. I think I found this in the bathroom section, but I'm going to use this to organize some of my essential oils that as of right now, we're just kind of sitting in a bin in one of my drawers. So I'm emptying that drawer out first of all. And then I wanted to take the stickers off and I was actually having kind of a hard time. They were sticking really bad and leaving behind a residue. So I decided to try out a little trick that some of you guys over here on YouTube have told me about. And I figured I would share that as well if you're also dealing with this same struggle sometimes. And that is to just heat it up with your hair dryer. So I pulled out my Dyson air wrap and I heated up the plastic and they did peel right off with leaving behind like very minimal residue. So this worked out really well and thank you guys for always sharing your tips and advice with me. But now we're going to go ahead and get this into this very slim drawer here in my kitchen that was housing my essential oils, but they just, I couldn't see what they were. It was kind of tricky to find what I was looking for. So this makes it a lot easier to see what it is that I have and find things that I'm looking for as I need them. You could also use this in your bathroom. Again, I think that's what it's intended for, or you could use it to organize your spices. I shared this Brightroom product in my last video where I was decluttering and organizing our entryway closet. So I wanted to share it again here because this also came from Target and I really, really like it. But there was a little bit of a design flaw in my opinion with this and that was when I tried to use the included hooks to hang it over the door. It was preventing me from closing the door because there's kind of a shelf on the top with a thick fabric material and it was just blocking the door frame altogether. So I don't know if that's an issue everybody will have, but that was an issue that I had. So we ended up doing was my husband screwed screws in to the door and we hung it off of that. He put some washers on the end of the screws so that it wouldn't slide off of it. That has worked out perfectly fine for us, but I wanted to just warn you guys because if you don't want to have to screw into your door in order to hang this up, then you may not wanna buy this product in particular. I just like to keep things real and keep things honest over here. 
But what I love about this particular organizer is that it has a ton of different sections for storage. So it's meant for shoes, but again, there's a shelf on the top so you could store some things up there. But also I was storing other things in this besides shoes. So again, this was in our entryway closet. So I stuck some face masks in case we need them at any point in there. I also stuck my son's goggles for when we go swimming in case we need to grab those as we're running out the door. I even put our cat's harness and leash in there so you could store all kinds of things in here, not just shoes, and it's utilizing the back of the door space that may otherwise be wasted. Another item that I really like from the Brightroom line is this acrylic organizer. You could use this for anything that you want, but I use mine for my makeup and it just makes it really easy for me to organize everything out. I try to do one section for eyes, one for face, one for lips. All the different drawers are different sizes, so if you have bigger products that you need to store in there, you should be able to, no problem. I like that it's clear so I can see what is in what section. You could label this if you wanted to, if you felt like being a little bit extra, but I just wanted to share it because it's something I've been using from Target from the Brightroom line for multiple years now and I really like. I do all things organization here on my channel. So I do small kitchen organization ideas, bedroom ideas, closet ideas, and bathroom. We've done a full makeover renovation on our bathroom ourselves and I've shared that over here as well as a whole bunch of videos on just how to organize a small bathroom because ours is very very tiny so if you're looking for ideas I just wanted to let you guys know I have those videos here on my channel. Another item that I wanted to just shout out really quickly is this Simple Human Shower Organizer. This is another product that just utilizes vertical space. It's going to make your life a little bit easier. We have a family of four and we only have one bathroom, so having this in the corner of our shower is so helpful for organizing all of our things. I hope you guys enjoyed all these Target organization ideas. We love a good trip to Target. I feel like we're there probably at least two to three times a week, <coughs> which is bad now that I'm saying it out loud. If you enjoy organization videos and you need some organization ideas for a small space in your home or just for your small home in general, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I post new organization videos every single week. I've done an Amazon dedicated organization video as well as a Dollar Tree dedicated organization video so far in this series so if you missed those videos i will have them linked down below i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll come back again next week for another one